Kitchen Jamyuxinya once again. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm doing something I haven't had it in 30 some years, plus years, can't even count. Uh, my sister from Canada sent me some karul. Karul is corn that is grounded and, a, uh, and my mom used to make papashed karul. And so that's what I'm gonna do with today. I, like I said, last time I had it was in Azores and even then it was not often that my mom made this. Uh, so uh, my sister put something on Facebook and I kind of just made a comment and she sent me some all the way from Canada. What a good sister, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa. So anyway, uh, so she sent it to me and what I did because this is just corn and you know corn, they got all kinds of stuff in them. I put the whole thing in a cookie sheet. Let me show you. I put it in a cookie sheet and I put it in the oven at 200 uh, for, um, for maybe about 15, 20 minutes. You don't wanna toast it. You just wanna make sure there's no extra friends in there, anything you want to make sure that it's all, and if it does, it will kill it. It will kill anything, so it'll be easy to store. Because you don't want to wash this. I was going to wash it, but like my sister said, you know, you need the starch from this. So this is like, I mean, actually the funny thing was when uh, I opened the box, I said, oh, my sister sent me rice. I thought it was rice. Then when I look at the bag, it said karul. I haven't had this, like I said, years. So I'm gonna make some my mom's way, and then I'm gonna doctor up like for us here because, and again, this is only for me, my in-laws, and my sister behind me. So anyway, and I'm gonna do mine different. Mine, I'm gonna do it in the oven. So uh, I have here four cups of milk. I asked my sister if she ever done in the oven. She said no. I go, okay, I'm going to try it. And then I have here uh, two cups of karul, and I'm going to put two teaspoons of salt. Um, I've seen some videos and people put sugar and all that, and I'll doctor up that at the end. So anyway. Um, my mom used to make this, and the interesting is, okay, I'm going to put all my karul in here, and I'm going to mix, and when this comes to a simmer, I'm going to cover and put it in the oven, and we're going to cook it that way. So my na our neighbors in Azores next door, they used to, um, to have, it was uh, a wheel, it was actually two wheels. It was um, a rock, but it was a wheel. And you used to put the corn in there and you used to move that wheel around and that's how you made the karul. Um, also, some people used to send it to the, to the mill and they would ask them, I want karul and they would make it. But anyway, but I've never seen, since I've been in this country, I've never seen karul. This is the first time and like I said, it was because my sister put it on Facebook um, that I, I saw it. I had never seen it around here. And maybe we do, but I never looked for it. It was not something that, oh my God, I got to have. It, we ate it because my mom made it, but it was not uh, one of my favorite things. The other thing my mom used to do, whatever was left over, was she used to, uh, my puffers all are done. It took me 40 minutes in the oven, and I didn't have to be stirring or anything. But what I end up to end up adding four more cups of um, milk because it was not cooked yet and it was already dry. So I'm gonna take half of this and I'm gonna put it in a plate to do like my mom used to do. She would put this in a plate. And the other half, I'm gonna doctor up. 
So this is how my mom used to make it, Papa's Karoo. And now in this other half, I'm gonna add some sugar, some vanilla, and some butter. My mom didn't have no butter, none of that stuff. It was just the milk. And um, so I'm gonna add here half a cup of sugar and mix this. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of vanilla. You can add lemon too. This is American way of um, Papa's Karoo. I'm gonna add some butter. Uh, maybe about three tablespoons of butter. And we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna keep mixing this a little bit until all that is incorporated. What I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little bit of cream. Why not? To make it creamier. Doctored one, I put sugar, I put some uh, vanilla. Um, so now I'm gonna put in these containers because I'm gonna take some to my in laws and I'm gonna take some to my sister behind me because they're the only ones that are familiar with us. In here in my house, nobody, nobody knows about this. Uh, I'm also going to put some uh, cinnamon. I mean, in a way, if nobody knew, it almost tastes just like um, rice pudding. You can't even taste the difference. And because I add that, um, that cream, they stay really creamy. And because this is just corn, it doesn't have, um, so you need, I need, you need something to kind of make them creamy. So, um, I'm going to put cinnamon over these. Here you go, friends. Here's my Papa's Kuru. This is the way my mom used to make. No fuss, no cinnamon, nothing. It was just milk, salt, and a kuru. I made mine in the oven, 40 minutes, no fuss. Um, that's ideal, you're not here, not, you're not stirring, you're afraid it's gonna burn, no burning. Uh, I add four more cups of milk because it dries faster in the oven, but it cooks, the, the corn is all cooked. This is the one it's doctored up. This is the one I add the sugar, the vanilla, the butter, and some cream. This is American way. I'm gonna try this one, like my mom used to make. Corn is all cooked, all the way through. It does not taste like what I remember, but like I said, we didn't eat a lot of it, so I can't even picture what it's supposed to taste like. It does taste, um, it tastes a little bit of the salt and the butter, I mean, and the milk. Very plain. Don't think I'll make that. Let me try this one. This one I'll do. You know, if nobody knew it was corn, you would think it's rice pudding. 
It tastes just like it. The creaminess, delicious. That I might, might do it again. But this one, unless I let it sit and then maybe fry it later, I don't think I'll do it at that one again. There's no, no flavor, no taste. But that's how we ate it. That's how my mom made it. Um, now, I would think, I, I can't remember now, but I think we would just eat this like anything. It was not like we ate this with something else. Probably she, when she would fry, then I have to ask my sisters how would we eat uh, when, we would, when she would fry. But anyway, but here it is, an old recipe that you probably haven't ate in years and you remember tasting one way and now you taste it and you go, as it tastes nothing like what you remembered. Um, but I remember us eating this. Um, and my mom's were thicker. I think my mom's were, she would cut it with a knife and we would hold it. Um, we could hold it. When she would fry, we would be able to hold it. So anyway, um, give it a try. If you have access to get some karul, I would say try it. If you're not custom with this, don't even try that. But try this one. This one is delicious. I will make this again. And like I said, if I don't say it's corn, nobody would know it's, it's not rice because it looks just like it. It was white corn. And, uh, um, and I liked it that I toasted first. I put it in the oven to kind of make sure there's nothing in there and to preserve it too. So now it's toasted. If there's anything in there, it's killed. So it doesn't grow. But anyway, uh, give it a try. I will have a recipe with the modifications that I did. Like I said, I, I had never made this alone. I mean, we made it years ago, but it was huge quantities and I was small and my mom didn't make it maybe once a year, if even that. But anyway, so I will have the right recipe if you wanted to give it a try and if you have access to karul. All it is is corn, ground corn, uh, coarse ground corn. Um, I'm sure you can find it in some of the stores in American, but this was Portuguese one. So anyway, until next time, let's get cooking. Mm -hmm.